Are you the type of player that gets maybe about 20 kills a game, dies about 13 times, and that is the best for you? And then you have that one game where you get 40 kills and maybe die three or four times and you call that amazing? Well, guys, I'm going to show you how to get those amazing gameplays way more often than you think you can. I'm going to show you guys some tips in Black Ops 4 to kill those enemies, get them away from you, and just outplay every single one of them. So I got about seven tips here for you guys, and we'll get straight into it. What is up guys my name is Nick and welcome back to another Black Ops 4 video where I'm going to be showing you guys how to outplay, outsmart and outdo the enemies in every single way possible. You guys are going to be getting a lot more kills. We don't even need score streaks for these tips that I'm going to give you guys. You guys will just be playing better in general. Now before we get into this video if you guys could drop a like unfortunately if you don't you're going to have like a bajillion spiders in your bed tonight. That's disgusting man. I don't want to go. I don't want to talk about that so just leave a like man so we could get off this topic as soon as possible. If you don't unfortunately it's going to happen Guys, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here with those notifications turned on and let's get straight into this video So I have about seven tips here for you guys to outplay the enemies and kill literally every single one of them that you guys see Now this isn't gonna happen every single game You're gonna get into those lobbies where there's gonna be like those super sweaty nerdy tryhards And I get into those lobbies a lot and uh, those games are just well I mean you're gonna die a lot too. you might get a lot of kills but you're gonna die a lot. You can't do nothing when you get up against sweats and tryhards and uh, just don't play at night. That's when they seem to like come out of their caves and stuff. But anyways, let's get into the tips at the start of the game. This is the gameplay I'm gonna show you guys right now. We're gonna switch over to grind. I want you to watch this. Why? By the time my team has 27 kills in total, I have 20 of those kills. And that's not because I got placed on the bad team or anything. Well, I was on the bad team. But at the same time, the routes that I was taking, the way I was outplaying the enemies, everything was just smarter. So as you guys can see in the game I go on a head glitch right away this is a head glitch because I'm under a slant and I just drop them so what I want you guys to do at the start of any match is to rush to the nearest head glitch to the center of the map or flank the enemies you guys could choose which one you want to do honestly on the smaller maps I prefer rushing the middle because that's where a lot of enemies are gonna pop up and then when we get to the larger maps and stuff I like to flank the enemies instead because they're not expecting it they might be everywhere they they won't turn their back or anything they're gonna be focused on your teammates and while they're shooting at your teammates you just show up behind every single one of them and you'll pop them in the back so that's one of the tips I could give you guys for that another one is to keep the action where you are you don't want the enemies to start going all over the map you want to kill as many enemies in one area as possible so that most of them could try to return there to get those kills you guys could control the game by getting a bunch of kills in one area all the enemies will go back there you just keep moving in the different areas on that side of the map so say you're on the right side of grind you're making a lot of action at the stadium area you're shooting a lot of people they're all dying and stuff well the chances are a lot of enemies will be coming back to where you kill them and what you want to do is get on different head glitches move around in that area so you're not always standing in the same spot and once they try to go back there you guys could drop them easily and just keep the action where you are trust me guys that's probably one of the better tips is to keep the action where you're at don't let them go anywhere on the map now another one I want to get into guys is to keep an eye on the kill feed this really goes with keeping the action where you're at this tip goes hand in hand with that one so when you keep your eye on the kill feed you're gonna see when enemies start to die that's your cue to be way more alert once you see that a lot of enemies are dying on the kill feed your team is killing a lot of them you know that they're gonna be spawning where your team isn't so make sure that you guys get towards that area and you could pick them off super fast as they're spawning they'll have no idea that you guys are close to them that you just shoot them you kill a few of them and then you move on you try to like go backwards never walk towards their spawn never go into their spawn because you're just calling for like uh, you're, you're just gonna die it's a massacre you don't want to do that man so just get away move backwards and then go more towards the middle of the map and wait for them to catch up to you and stuff and then you could turn around pick them all off one by one again and just keep doing that over and over so you want to go near their spawn but you never want to actually enter it because when once you enter the spawn it flips it and they start spawning on the other side of the map and then it just gets confusing for you enemies are going to show up behind you you definitely don't want that and uh, yeah it just it, it gets crazy now i also want to say i said that this doesn't involve any kill streaks or anything but you guys should be running some mid-range kill streaks especially if you're one of those players who has trouble getting 
mercilesses and stuff merciless medals you want to be one of those players who could actually get maybe a, a uav help your team out you'll also see where the red dots are on the map and stuff so that helps you out a lot you also want to run a hellstorm missile maybe a lightning strike or a sentry gun the sentry gun does all the work for you essentially so you don't have to actually watch a certain area of the map you could go to the right side put your sentry gun in the middle and it should stop people from flanking you full out so make sure you guys do that now what i want to say is you guys should be using the fastest killing weapons i see people using guns that just don't kill that fast or guns that are like super super close range like a shotgun or something like yeah those are fun to use but they're not going to do you any good any gun that i would recommend are guns like the sog the cordite the maddox the kn and the icr those are great guns for literally a lot of different distances you guys can do up close mid range far range and i have to say probably the kn and maddox are the best in the game for any single range any single distance you guys got to do so make sure you guys are using weapons like the ones that i just mentioned and you should be dropping people off pretty nicely now to outsmart the enemies like i said you should always be rotating getting a few kills in those certain areas and then rotate to the other side of the map now most people in this game they play for revenge like think about it in your own perspective let's say somebody kills you twice what is your objective your objective is to go kill that guy you forget about everything else and you just want to get revenge on the dude who dropped you so make sure that you know that's what the enemies are thinking as well if you kill a few people they're coming straight back for you make them want that revenge they don't play as smart they just think about killing you and stuff and you could outsmart them every single time kill him once in one room move on to another one once he runs through the doorway drop him again keep doing it like that it's gonna get him really angry and he's not even gonna focus you will get him a lot of times and he's just gonna keep getting more angry and angry and angry so it's fun as hell now another one i want to give you guys is to use scavenger gung-ho and dead silence there's a reason i love these perks and that's because they're actually amazing you guys got to use these perks right here scavenger so you never get caught without any ammo gung-ho so you guys can like get people down after sprinting let's say you're sprinting and you forget and you turn a corner sprinting and there's an enemy right there at least with gung-ho you could start shooting before you stop sprinting and that dead silence you don't want to be hurt anywhere and the last tip i want to give you guys is to chase those red dots on the mini map if you see red dots on the mini map if you see like one or two in an area go to them try to go behind them try to go beside them even go in front of them if you could head glitch and stuff but if you'd see like six red dots in one certain area of the map stay a little further back let a few of them come towards you don't like go towards them and i hope you guys understand these tips i hope you guys could use these and get a bunch of kills like i said earlier in the video if you guys could drop a like that would be absolutely amazing subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here with those notifications turned on my name is nick thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace